In this video, we're going to give my way too early award predictions for the next NFL season. And first up, I'm going to go with Offensive Rookie of the Year. I have a pretty bold take for this one. I'm going to go with Green Bay Packers new wide receiver Christian Watson. Now, Christian Watson is an extremely raw prospect. Coming out of college, a lot of reports came out saying, you know, he has to polish a lot of his game. His route running isn't that that crisp. He doesn't have an extensive route tree. But coming out of training camp, everything I've been hearing from Packers insiders and even Aaron Rodgers himself, it seems like they really like Christian Watson, the talent that he displays. I think he's going to come out and have a big year with Devontae Adams gone, and he will win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year, I have Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan. I think he should have been the number one pick in this draft. There's no doubt in my mind he's the best defender coming out of the 2022 draft. Hutchinson will win Defensive Rookie of the Year. There's no doubt in my mind. Comeback Player of the Year, I have a guy that we have not seen play football since 2020, and that's Michael Thomas. The Saints are going to be sneaky Super Bowl contenders, and a big reason for that will be the performance of Michael Thomas. I see Michael Thomas going for 1,400 plus receiving yards, getting more than 10 touchdowns, and winning Comeback Player of the Year this season. For Coach of the Year, I have Nick Sirianni. I have the Eagles finishing 13-4 and with a second seed in the NFC, and based on that record prediction, I think they're going to have an extremely successful year. I'm going to credit a lot of that to the coaching of Nick Sirianni, and I believe he will win Coach of the Year. TJ Watt is going to repeat the success that his brother JJ had and win his second Defensive Player of the Year in back-to-back -back seasons. I mean, the numbers he put up, 22 and a half sacks, 21 tackles for loss, 7 pass deflections, 5 forced fumbles. The guy's a monster. I don't see anybody else beating him out for this award this season. Offensive player of the year, I have another receiver winning it this season, but this time I think it's going to be Bengals wide receiver Jamar Chase. I could see Chase putting up Cooper Cup-like numbers, 1,800, 1,900 receiving yards, 15-plus touchdowns. He's not going to lead the league in catches because the Bengals have a lot of other weapons, but he should get more usage this season, and with that high usage rate, I think he'll win Offensive Player of the Year. I have Herbert winning the MVP, the most prestigious award of them all. I think he's going to lead the Chargers to a 15-2 best record in the AFC and win his first ever NFL MVP.